I'm Afton. I'm here to talk about how the May 23rd, 20th, 2013 tornado was the best thing that ever happened to me. But I do have two caveats to start off with, because with something tragic, there are always caveats. Caveat number one, we lost 24 lives that day, and that is tragic. We don't want to minimize that at all. I mean, kids died. Bad. Tra <laughs> caveat number two. <clears throat> My boys, I'm a mother. They're not, they didn't happen to me, I chose them, and I choose them every single day. So I didn't, they didn't happen to me. They do things that happen to me, like breaking a toe, but otherwise, they didn't happen to me. That to say, I am an eternal optimist. I wrote this at the beginning of 2013 because it was gonna be the best year ever. I ate those words much like I eat anything else. Um, it was the worst year, actually. I went through a separation before I had my son. My son was born dead. I almost died. There was a motherfucking tornado that took my house. Um, I had to buy a new house. Oh, and I got a divorce. 2013, bad. And then there was something else. In the middle of all of it, I was diagnosed with a serious mental illness. I want to let that sink in for a second, because I forget what my next slide is. <laughs> Okay, treatment for this included medications, visits to my doctor, to a psychiatrist, to a psychologist, a self-vacation, uh, self-appointed vacation at St. Anthony's when I tried to commit suicide yet again. We're talking four or five attempts in 2013 alone. I had been misdiagnosed before. There was also tons of guilt, anger, embarrassment, self-hatred, anything that was negative was in my head. But the great thing is that with Time is acceptance. I do research, I keep up on my meds, I see my psychiatrist, I take care of me up here so I can be happy out here. Oh. So, in summary to begin, the tornado, that was my house on top, that was my house after. Not, not so awesome, by the way. Uh, tornado took my house, it took a lot of things. But, the great thing about the tornado it took the time to reveal my illness. That's a mad cow. Moo. <laughs> if it had not done that, I would not be the happy person I am today. I would not be the strong person I am today. I would not be the good mother I am today. And I am a good mother, even though my five-year-old doesn't agree. <laughs> it led to healing. I was able to talk to other people about their illnesses. I am able to openly discuss different illnesses, treatments, possibilities for growth. So my point is, is you've got to stop complaining and start doing. I love this quote. Another one is by Oprah that says, if you don't change your mind or change your situation, but don't sit there and bitch about it because it's not worth the bitching. <clears throat> How do you do this? You're supportive. If I had a nickel for every time I heard, your life is so great, I would beat people with that damn bag of nickels. <laughs> Oh, my God. Second thing you can do, <clears throat> stop minimizing. Uh, the weather is so bipolar. You live in Oklahoma, of course it's bipolar. <laughs> also, I'm going to kill myself if I have to sit in traffic. Please don't make, minimize suicide. It's very, very bad and very, very prevalent. Also, stop judging. Uh, depressed people are weak. No, they're not. There's a physiological issue in their brain and they need treatment like cancer or a broken arm. Um, anxiety is not all in your head. If you've ever had a panic attack, <laughs> and also always take suicide threats seriously. Don't, don't ignore someone who says they're going to kill themselves. Take the time to listen, call the police, call a doctor, call somebody, wait with that person, save a life. Um, if you yourself are struggling with mental illness or think that you might be, seek help. One third of people with mental illness do not seek help simply because they are afraid of what others are going to think of them. This is ridiculous. It is a medical issue in your head. There is light at the end of the tunnel. If you take the time to make yourself healthy up here, you'll be happy out here. And that is my point tonight. That was the day my son was born, just so that yeah, he did survive. He's a great, healthy, wonderful, obstinate two-year-old, <laughs> but he is great. Thank you.